Welcome to this Thimble Bell tutorial. This is the third video in a series of videos that I'm doing to show you how to make the various parts of a skull shawl that I made. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make the triangles. To start, I've created a foundation chain consisting of three chains. One, two, three. We never count the one that's on our hook. So to start, we're going to single crochet into the second chain five times. One, two, three, four, and five. Then we're going to slip stitch into the last chain, chain two, and turn the work. Now we're going to do two half double crochets in each stitch, giving us a total of 10 half double crochets on this row. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Then chain three, one, two, three, and turn your work. Now we're going to do a puff stitch into the first stitch. Chain two, one to close the puff stitch, and one because we're going to skip the next stitch and puff into the one after it. Sometimes you really have to wiggle it to get through all of those loops. It's a lot of loops, you know. <laughs> Chain two, one to close the puff stitch, and one because we're going to skip the next stitch, puff into the one after that. We're looking for five puff stitches in this row. So there's number three, so one to close. One to skip the next stitch, puff into the one after that. And there's number four, chain to close, chain to skip the next stitch, puff into the second to last stitch in this row. Then chain one to close. Then we're going to do a double crochet into the final stitch on this row. Chain six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Turn the work. Now we're going to double crochet into the chain space that we created in the previous row. chain two, or three, I'm sorry, chain three. Then we're going to double crochet into the next chain space. Chain three, one, two, three, double crochet into the next chain space. Chain three, one, two, three, double crochet into the next chain space. Chain three, one, two, three. Remember those first uh, 
three stitches or chains that we made in the beginning of the last row, we're going to double crochet into the center of those. And that should give us a total of five loops. One, two, three, four, five. Chain two, one, two, turn the work. We're going to make four half double crochets into the first chain space or loop, whichever you want to call it. <laughs> There's one, two, three, and four. Then we're going to do five half double crochets in the next three loops. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, The great thing about crochet is if you mess up, it's easy to uh, just start over again. <laughs> Five. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Then we're going to do four half double crochets into the last loop. One, two, three, four. If we did it right, that should give us a total of 23 half double crochets on this row. Chain four. One, two, three, four. Turn the work. We're going to do two triple crochets into the first stitch because the chains we just made will count as a triple. But we want to leave a loop on our hook each time for a total of three loops on our hook. Then we're going to yarn over, pull through all those loops. Then we're going to double crochet into the next two stitches. And then half double crochet into the next two stitches. Single crochet into the next two stitches. Half double crochet into the next two stitches. Double crochet into the next two stitches. Then we're going to triple crochet three times into the next stitch, leaving a loop on our hook each time for a total of four loops. So that's two loops. Three loops. Four loops, yarn over, pull through all the loops, chain three. One, two, three. Then we're going to triple crochet three more times into the same loop the same way. So that's two loops. Three loops. Four 
four loops, yarn over, pull through all the loops, double crochet into the next two stitches, half double crochet into the next two stitches, single crochet into the next two stitches, half double crochet into the next two stitches, double crochet into the next two stitches, and then for our final stitch we're going to make three half double crochets into the same stitch, the same way we've been doing so you'll end up with four loops on your hook. There's two loops. Three loops. Four loops, yarn over, pull through all the loops. And that finishes out your triangle. Now if you do some crochet thread and a smaller hook, you're going to end up with a much smaller triangle, so don't be afraid to experiment and see what's going to work best for your project. I hope this has been a helpful tutorial, and if so, check out the rest of the videos in this series, or subscribe to the channel, or visit the website www.thimblebell.com for more nifty ideas. Thanks so much for watching, y'all!